Cameron surging ahead with his plans to open a criminal case against police minister Kele and his police. He filed two charges of criminal injury and common assault. So I'm still not 100% sure why they removed me. Um, I think the other important part to mention is that I'm not sure who gave the order to remove me. Um, I posed no threat to the minister. I was standing in the back of the hall and uh, next moment I knew I was being forcefully removed and in fact what shocked me even more was the fact that they sent armed TRT members to run in with rifles um, to assist with this forced removal. The case emanates from a war of words that ensued after Cameron accused Kele of failing on his constitutional duties and later interrupted his speech. If, if you come here and you tell me what I can respect the constitution, I don't know what you think of me. I, I, I'm, the rep, I'm, the, I'm the public representative, I'm the member of parliament based on the constitution so you, you say i must not talk about the constitution and if you tell me what you don't respect the constitution of the land cameron says his robust approach to the minister represented the frustration of the many citizens over high level of crime in the province there's a very important reason why i stood up and interrupted him and it is the following the minister insinuated that I spoke of him or thought of him as a garden boy and that is not part of who I am and I take offense if someone insinuates that about me if that is not an accurate statement being made. He insinuated that, I stood up and I said sorry Mr. Minister you need to retract that statement and that is when he went off on his, on his rant. One of the highly debated topics is the fair allocation of police personnel and resources. Cameron says he will approach various justice institutions such as the Public Protector, Parliament and IPID until he gets justice. The police ministry says Police Minister Begekele has nothing to say on the matter. Ah, Tule Joga, SABC News, Kukuletu.